Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread, episode 172. Oh, I'm tired, y'all, but I had to show up because I said I would. I said I would. Um, today, I'm talking about how every opportunity may not be for you. So stay tuned as we get into that. Listen, as in case you don't know, I am teaching this month, August 24th, in Atlanta, Georgia, for the Bronze Lens Film Festival. I'm super excited. And so the name of that event is Level Up to Stardom. So what I've been doing is this whole Level Up to Stardom series. So today is day 10 of that. So I hope you've been enjoying it. I've made a vow to go live every day until the event. Um, and today was like, oh, I just want to sit on that couch. Um, but I'm like, no, you got to show up because you said you would. And I got to give the good good today. So I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your first time watching actors daily bread i want to welcome you to all my replay watchers who will watch this later what's up replay watchers love you guys what's up Marilee? what's up um al what's up david um if you guys hop on on facebook um be sure to say hi uh, right now um yeah so let's get into it today if you missed yesterday's video let me just tell you we went almost an hour which is why i think i'm so tired today well that's not why i'm tired but um my voice feels strained but it was so 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 good so any of you who were with us yesterday you know how good it was it was really great um we talked about so many things so go back and look for episode 171 um at your convenience as you wash the dishes or do whatever just listen to it but you know what popped in my mind today that i wanted to talk to you about um is how every opportunity may not be for you and i want to expound on that a bit um, and if you're interested in um, coming to see me in Atlanta, Instagram, the link is in my bio, okay? Facebook, it's above or below. So here's the deal. And listen, I'm, everything I'm about to tell you, I've been guilty of myself. Hi, Dawn. Right, I've been guilty of myself. And I remember back, I want you to be aware of what season you may be in, right? So we're all in different seasons. So there was a time and place years, many years ago where I was in stack, stacking season. What I, that's what I call it. Like I'm taking any gig that comes my way. It don't matter if it's one line, if it's two pages, if it's a feature film, if it's an indie project, if it's a web series. Like I was taking any gig because I was just in stack mode. I want to just stack my credits, get my IMDb up, get my experience right. And then there comes a point where you're not in that season anymore and you have to know when it's time to shift seasons and when it's time for you to shift and adjust your um, your your approach and how you have to start start thinking in a more discerning manner about the opportunities that you take so let me give you an example because some of you may be here especially my my newer if you're newer to to whatever arena you're in. I used to make the mistake of getting on Actors Access and just wanting to work. I just wanted to work and anything, honey, I would click it, click it, click it, whether it fully described me or not. I was like, I could play that, I could do that, I could do it all, right? And I would just try to do as much as possible, click, 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 submit, submit, submit. And sometimes I would get advice, but sometimes I wouldn't. And if that's you, that's no, I wanna just uh, give you something to think about. When you are just submitting, 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 submitting to any and everything, on the receiving end uh, for the casting director or whoever's in working on that project, it says to them, oh, wow, this actor doesn't know who they are. Why would they submit to this? It clearly says, boom, boom, boom. And that's not what you're giving off in your headshots or in your demo reel. Or you may think you look the part, but your essence is something totally different. So you may think to yourself, man, I can be a leading man. I can be a leading lady. Like, yeah, absolutely. I can do it all. I'm an actor. But if your essence, basically your vibe that you put out is um, sweet girl next door or sweet boy next door or nerd or geek and you're submitting for you know leading man it's like oh god you don't even know who you are you're not tapped into it so every opportunity is not the opportunity for you and this has another side to it let's say you have representation and I know in the beginning, especially, you don't want to, you feel, some of you may feel scared to say no thank you. 
that opportunity comes in your agents like oh this is a great project it's due whatever due Tuesday and then you look at it you read the script you read the script and you're like oh I'm not feeling this but I'm not feeling this and I don't want you to sit in fear of I don't want to tell my agent or my manager no thanks right because of what they'll say they're working hard to get me any audition so what if I say no are they gonna stop are they gonna stop sending me stuff are they gonna stop submitting me and I know that's a fear but you also have to understand when something is not for you just because your agent sent it to you and even if it's something you submitted on your own like on actors access or casting networks LA casting right and then you actually get the script and it's trash you have to think about how this will represent you you guys know we live in an age where stuff it lives on way longer than we do so how will it represent you how will it represent your legacy how will it represent the body of work that you want to do in the future there have been many times that I've gotten a script and it's like I'm not saying this this is this is derogatory or this is I'm, no uh-uh because a lot of times your agents not they're not reading the script they're just they're dealing with masses amount of people decline or not decline you know David Allen says me all day <laughs> you know and I remember just being on the other side of that and feeling um, you know scared to say no thank you so it's twofold so wherever you hear yourself in this story just make a note of that am I submitting to everything just so I can work and if that's fine, if that's where you are, but just be aware that that is where you are and where you are operating from. Because there's this also, there's an underlying feeling of lack there as well. Like, I may not get anything else, so I better take this audition. And I want you to know that there's more coming your way. Even if you haven't worked in a while, you don't have to feel obligated to say yes to everything, especially if you're not jiving with it. Because here's how you know if sometimes you're not even in the mood to do it. When you feel resistance, this is how it shows up for me. So I'll get an, a, an, an audition will come in and I'll read the script. And y'all, when it's something I love and I'm excited to book, excited to do, I can't wait to take that thing or I can't wait to go to that in-person audition. But when I get it and then it just sits on my desk, just sits on my desk, put it in another room, I don't even highlight the lines. I'm like, Christine, you have resistance toward this and why? Do you just not like the character? Do you just not like the project? Like, what is it, right? And so just bear, trust your instinct is what I'm saying and just know what season you are in, right? So I just wanted to share that with you today. And look, you know, if your agent or your manager needs an explanation, give it to them. I, I'm just not feeling this character, this character. And don't let anybody have to tell you, you should just be grateful and take this audition or go to that audition. Hey, Freddie Hendricks, y'all, I'm always talking about Freddie Hendricks, my amazing mentor. He says, great advice. No is a great word, especially when it comes from you. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I think so many times as, as actors, we're always, people like to put us in this position of just be grateful to even get an opportunity. <laughs> just be grateful to be in the room, to be called. And yes, I am grateful. We talked about that last night. But it's like, still, I still have to make a choice. And, and we all have different stages of our career. Some of y'all are just looking for that first co-star, that first guest star, the first series regular. And then once you've reached your goal, you set new ones. So I'm not gonna do anything for me personally that is, feels like backtracking or feels like, you know, I also have to ask myself, how does this represent me? How does this represent women? How does this represent black women? You know what I mean? It's like so many things we think about and you know, it's, it's that's the reality of it. Art is powerful and we are vessels and we get to share that with the world, but um, we have to just be uh, discerning on that. I know my vibe is real chill. If y'all watched yesterday's video, we was on fire. So um, I'm gonna go back to get some rest, but I'm so grateful you all are here again. I'll be teaching in Atlanta, August 24th. Um, so if you want more information on that, and want to come see me and meet me and, and let me sign your book yes book <laughs> be sure to come and click the link above or below Instagram click my bio guys have an amazing night I know it's kind of late on the East Coast but I'll see you guys tomorrow and uh, yeah until then good night thank you
Bye.